way, way, way back in time, back in, what would it be, about 1990, I was in college and I'd spent most of the day in what was the computer room uh, working on an assignment. I think I did a pretty good job on it. Only one problem. I spent pretty much the whole day there. Uh, me and a friend were the last two people in. And as the caretakers came round, subtly suggesting that surely we had homes to go to, we went to print out the fruits of our labours. My friends printed out no problem. And as soon as I tried to print, the computer crashed. One thing I'd forgotten to do uh, was to save my work as I went along. Now, for me, you know, shrug your shoulders, that's life. Come back tomorrow. A friend was, I think to say, astounded at the way I was taking things, which would be uh, yeah, something of an understatement. Um, he couldn't understand why I wasn't foaming at the mouth or whatever. Well, I suppose I could if I wanted to, but when you think about it, where's the point? Where's the point in letting the, the situation get to you? Where's the point in letting negativity get inside your mind and give you a damn good kicking? Far better to assess the situation. Look at what you, uh, you need to do to rescue what's happened and do it. For me, I came in the next day, spent the same many hours saving my work as I went along. Uh, and if anything, I th I'm sure I wrote a better essay than the one that had got trashed. Um, I could understand the feelings of overwhelm. My father gave me an early lesson on how to deal with pressure. He was in the RAF. He got uh, he and his squadron got posted to Cyprus. When uh, they came off the plane, they got a feeling that there was there, there was something of a problem when the squadron that they were replacing went down on their knees to them and started bowing. My father was issued with uh, an automatic weapon and put on uh, sentry duty the next six months. He spent uh, a 24-hour sentry duty, followed by a day's work. Now, pressure builds up on that, but only if you choose to let it. Remember, it's your mind. You can choose how it acts. You can choose how it behaves. Uh, when I was working for on behalf of a brewery, I had a manager who demoted herself. I don't know why, she's quite a good manager. And then we had somebody come, come in who was, oh yeah, what a nightmare she was. The, well, but you will appreciate uh, being on a, a, a field sales force spread out all over the country, we would have to send back our paperwork on a daily basis. Fair enough. I do my paperwork on a daily basis. I send it off on a daily basis. It never arrives on a daily basis. Now, if I'd have had any sense, I would have um, got a bit carried away, should I say. Had words with the management and proper management and HR to find out what sort of damn silly stupid game was being played as the end result was a burned out. I drove my car for way too long and I ended up crashing in the wee small hours of the morning. November the 20th, 1998, about quarter past four in the morning. Not that I'm counting or anything. Uh, I mean, I made all the mistakes in the book. I let everything get to me. 
I was unable to finish a few tasks because pressure had got to me and, oh, God, so embarrassing. Uh, but I've learned you choose if you want to let pressure affect you. You choose if you want to let your situation overwhelm you. I know it sounds easy to say, but from personal experience, I found out that's what happens. It's all up to you. Personal choice. Don't you just love it? And so, my friend, until the next time, keep living.